Hi friends, welcome back to the class. Today I am going to explain the topic that is the comparison between respiration and combustion. The last of my class I am explaining to you what is the respiration and which gas is necessary for the respiration and what is the combustion, definition of combustion and the chemical reaction of combustion and that is a fire triangle, everything I am already explained to you. So now I will explain to you what is the difference between respiration and combustion. Okay, so I am already given few points here already. So just before all of you go through that the chemical reaction. The chemical reaction. Okay, so the first one that is respiration. Respiration means that um, oxygen react with the glucose. I hope all of you know that uh, chemical formula of glucose. So that is C6H2O O6. Okay, that's the chemical formula of glucose. So the reaction between oxygen and the glucose combined to the end of form carbon dioxide, water vapor, and the food. Food means energy. I'm uh, sorry, energy is also formed. Okay, this is the chemical formula of respiration. And the combustion means uh, C that means carbon. Carbon means carbon from that. If you can use any uh, kind of uh, substance that's combustible substance, okay. The C means charcoal, coal, or fuel, any okay. more. Plus, that means the reaction between carbon plus oxygen into form a carbon dioxide and heat energy and light energy is also formed during the combustion process. Okay, so I will give you a few points regarding the respiration and the combustion. First one respiration. Okay, respiration is a biochemical process, it's a slow process, it's a done. Uh, in the body. In the body means in the uh, cell only. So next one first point of the respiration, the oh, during the respiration the oxygen is required. Oxygen is required. I hope all of you know is that without the oxygen it's not possible to uh, conduct this uh, respiration process. Oxygen is very compulsory for the respiration. Okay. That's why given that oxygen is required. So what about the combustion? Combustion and oxygen is where the oxygen is required. So without the oxygen, combustion is not possible. Okay. Second point carbon dioxide, water vapor are released. So during the respiration, which type of byproduct is formed? So carbon dioxide and water vapor are also released during the respiration. And same time here only during the combustion. Carbon dioxide, water vapor are released. Okay. And next one, in the during the respiration, it is a natural process. Respiration is a natural process and a continuous process. And a continuous. It is there is no any break. Okay. It is a continuous process. And what type of the combustion? Combustion is a, it's a mostly an artificial. Mostly an artificial combustion is not a natural process, it is an artificial process. And this continuous process, this continuous. What's the word meaning this continuous? It is not a continuous, this continuous process. Okay. Next one. It is a slow process. Which one? The respiration is a slow process. Will take time. The reaction between the glucose and the oxygen combine or react to the into form a energy will take time. So that, that's why the respiration is a slow process. And what about the combustion? Combustion is a quick process. Combustion is a quick process. What is the word mean quick process? That is a uh, producing a large amount of heat and they produce that uh, easy to catch fire, inflammable tendency. That's why the combustion is a quick process. Comparatively, not a comparatively, that the combustion is a quick process. Okay. And next one, it takes place at the body temperature. So the expression occur on the body, I am already told to you. So what is the temperature required for the expression? The minimum 37 degree Celsius. Okay. Yeah. Place at the body temperature. What is our body temperature? That is sufficient for the um, respiration process that are 37 degrees Celsius. So, what about the combustion? 
if you take place high temperature okay during the combustion that take place high temperature okay next difference a small amount of energy is released in the form of heat very small amount very small amount of heat energy is released okay and what about in the case of combustion combustion Large amount of energy is released in the form of heat and light. During the combustion, during the fire, we will use it to identify that um, heat energy and light energy is also released out. So, that is a large amount. Large amount of energy is released in the form of heat and light. Okay. This is the basic difference between respiration and combustion. So all of you learn clearly. And the next one, I am going to explain the topic rusting. Okay. So rusting, what is rusting? Rust or corrosion. So if iron object is placed outside, that means in the contact with the air and the water like that, then the gradually it uh, converting the uh, means converting means that uh, iron surface showing from reddish brown powder or the iron. So that reddish brown is called rust. So that cross is called rust. Okay, one once again I'll repeat that one. When an iron object exposed to an air and the most or most as a result the iron surface get a reddish brown powder reddish brown powder is called rust this process is called rust so it will be take a uh, few months and years it is not a um, quick process it is a slow process it will take a few months okay. so for example uh, i will give a chemical reaction about this process first thing so first thing is that uh, object is very important as uh, iron is very important this iron react with oxygen react with oxygen okay react with oxygen in the presence of water vapor if the water vapor is very combustible okay the iron is there and the oxygen is also without a moisture in this water content there is very, very less possibility to get a corrosion or rust that's why uh, if any substance that means uh, uh, iron substance turn to rust, turn to corrosion that need oxygen and moisture, oxygen and water vapor. That's why given here the iron reacting with oxygen in the help of water, the help of water into form a hydrated iron oxide, hydrated iron oxide, hydrated the water content is here only. The X means that number of molecules of water. It's not mentioned how many molecules that's why it will be x so the water hmm, on the iron oxide means simply uh, we want to say this chemical formula is a hydrated iron oxide hydrated iron oxide so simply we can say it's a rust it's a chemical formula of rust okay chemical formula of rust so during the chemical um, rusting there is a three or there is a two conditions necessary so what is the conditions necessary for the rusting answer is very simple the first one presence of air presence of air and second one presence of water presence of water means moisture these two factor is very compulsory very necessary for the rusting process okay without any of missing of any of one it is not possible to conduct or it is not possible to So these are the two main conditions necessary for the rust, the presence of air and the presence of water, water is moisture, okay. So once again, rusting means is a any substance, an iron substance exposed to the air and the water and they get a reddish, reddish brown appearance or reddish brown powder appear on the surface of iron is called rust. This process is called rusting. 
and the chemical formula of iron reacting to oxygen in the help of water into form a hydrated iron oxide. Simply we can say rust. Okay. And the next one, the conditions necessary for the uh, rusting, presence of air and the presence of water. Okay. Next I will give you the difference between rusting and combusting. Rusting and combusting. Okay. First one. Rusting is a slow process. Rusting is a slow process and uh, combustion is a fast process. Okay, this combustion just before I am explaining to you combustion. And here rusting is a slow process and uh, combustion is a quick process or fast process. Next one, the little heat is released during that uh, rusting. Very little, very little heat is released. And what about the rusting? So, but what about that combustion? That large amount of heat and is released during the combustion process. Okay, very good. Next one. The both air and moisture are necessary for the rusting. Both air and water necessary for the rusting. And next one, in the case of combustion, only air is necessary for combustion. Only air. Which air? The only oxygen is necessary for the combustion okay so these are the difference between uh, rusting and combustion so all of you learn the chapter very uh, clearly and read carefully and uh, i will attach that pdf also question answer today all of you write your uh, work write your and complete your copy and uh, try to learn okay so now i am going to conclude this chapter air and atmosphere so Thank you.